this problem, we are going to find the order with respect to each reactant. Okay, so we are going to find the M and N. Okay, in the rate law, we have K concentration of A and concentration of B. A is raised to the power of M and B is raised to the power of N. So this time, we are going to find M in N. Okay, so let's go. So we have the formula rate 2 over rate 1 is equal to K concentration of A 1 Oh, this is 2. 2 raised to the power of M times concentration of B raised to the power of N. This is B2. Then we have K times the concentration of A1 raised to the power of M. B raised to the power of N. So, let's... Okay, so this time we are going to just plug in the values. So rate 2, for in the second experiment, we have 45 moles per liter minute. So let's write 45 mole per liter minute over... Over 5 mole per liter minute. Because that is, okay, so you can see here, 5. All right, 5. Okay. And then let's, is it, this is equal to the K constant. Okay. K over times concentration of A in the A2. 0 0.300 moles per liter. 0 0.300 molar. Okay, molar times B. B is 0 0.100. 0 0.100 molar. Okay, raised to the power of M and N. <laughs> times for A. A1, we have 0.100, 0 0.100 molar raised to the power of M. And then we have 40, uh, 0 0.1 molar for B1, molar for N. Okay, so... Here, 0. 0.100 over 0. 0.100, okay, this can be cancel, cancel, and then we are left with, okay, we can also cancel letter, the K constant, and that is equal to 45 divided by 9, that is 9, divided by 5, that is 9 mole per liter minute. You just copy the unit, and then... We have 0.300, okay, so we can divide this one, 0.300 divided by 0.100, that is 3. 3 raised to the power of M. Oh, so we can also write here the unit, which is molar, but since M and N ha is unitless, so we can, oh, it's okay not to write the unit. Even here, since it's unitless, so I'll erase it. Okay, and then to find the value of M, we have to use logarithm. So let's log both sides. That is log of 9 is equal to log. Okay, when we use log, the M here can be bring down. Okay, log of 3. And then to find M, we have to 
divide both sides by log of 3. So, log of 9 divided by log of 3. And we have that is equal to 2. So, we have m is equal to 2, which means in the, the order of reaction of concentration A is 2, second order. Now, let's find the concentration or uh, the order of reaction in concentration B. So we will use the rate law again, which is this time. Okay. Great. All right. Okay, so we will use the this formula, which is Rate 3, okay. rate 3 over rate 1, that is equal to K. And then we have to write A, const A3, because it's 3 here, so we have to uniform it. Okay, 3 raised to the power of M. Right, then times B raised to the power of N, that is 3. And the 3 means it is in the experiment 3. And then times A, uh, 1, because it's 1 here. And M, concentration of B raised to the power of N, 1. So let's look at the table to find the values. So let's find rate 3. The value of rate 3 is 10 moles per liter minute. That is 10 moles per liter minute. Minute. Over, for rate 1, we have 5 moles. 5 moles per liter minute. That's the unit of the rate law, of the rate. And then we have K. So, K times A3 is 0.100, 0 0.100 molar raised to the power of M times the B concentration of B is... B3, 0 0.200, 0 0.200 molar raised to the power of N. This is over to rate, okay, rate 1 is 0 0.100 for A and 0 0.100 for B. Okay, so K times 0 0.100 molar raised to the power of M times 0 0.100 molar raised to the power of n. Notice that we can cancel this one, this one in the k also. So we are left with 0.200 over 0.100, and that is 2 raised to the power of n because we cannot cancel the power of n. And then we have 10 divided by 5, we have 2. So I will not write anymore the unit because N is unitless. And then we have to find N, we have to log both sides. So log of 2 is equal to log of 2 equals to N log of 2. We have to bring down the N, the exponent N. So we have N is equal to log of 2 over log of 2. And that is 1. So which means n is equal to 1. 
this means that in concentration B, in the reactant B, it is first order. So, we can now write the, we can now answer letter A, and that is, so we have letter A, rate, what is the order with respect to each reactant? Okay, so let's write, M, okay. So we have A is second order and B reactant is first order. First order. And then we have letter B. Right. Write the rate law. So rate law is equal to K times concentration of A. This is second order, so let's write 2. And then B, it's first order, so we will not write 1 anymore. So this is letter B. Rate is equal to K constant times Concentration of A to the, which is second order, and the concentration of B, which is first order. Now, let's answer letter C. Calculate the K constant using the data from experiment, experiment 1. Remember that the formula of rate is rate is equal to K dot times concentration of A and then times concentration of B. And in this case, so it is second order. Now we will write second order here. Okay. So using the using experiment one. Okay. So let's write one. One and then one. Okay. And then we will we will just rearrange the equation because we are to find the constant k, the value of k constant. So how should we do that? Okay, we should divide both sides with a. Okay, we should divide both sides with a. Okay, and then b. Okay, and then... Okay, second order and B, which is first order. Okay, so cancel, cancel. So we are left K is equal to rate 1 over the concentration of A to the power of 2 concentration of B. So this is our formula in getting the rate constant. So this is equal to rate 1. Now rate 1 is... 5, 5.0 mole, 5.0 mole per liter minute over the A here, the value of A is 0 0.300, 0 0.300 mole per liter. This is square because it's 2. And then B, the value of B is 0.100. 0 0.100 mole per liter. Okay, so this time, let's do this. Equal to, what is this? Okay, 5 mole per liter minute over... 0.300 squared, that is 0 0.900. And then what happened to the unit? It will be mole square per liter square because it is squared. Times, okay, where should, okay, times 0 0.100. I'll put it here. 
okay, 0.100 mole per liter. Okay, so let's use our calculator, 0.9, let's, I will write it here, mole per liter minute over 0.900 times 0.100, that is, okay. Oh, there's a mistake here. 0.300 square is 0 0.09. Okay. 0 0.09. All right. Mole liter square. Okay, so this time. Point zero 0.09 times 0 0.100, that is... 9 times 10 to the negative 3. Okay. What happened to the units? We have mole squared times mole. So we have to add the units. Okay, It will be mole cube per liter cube. And then, okay, this is equal to... Okay, we have here mole. We can cancel the mole and the liter. So we are left cancel one, one. So we will be left with two. Okay, so five divided by nine times ten to the negative three. That is fifty five, five hundred fifty five point. 55.56 Okay Per minute Over Mole square Per liter square Because Nakancel na ang Mole here and the liter So one minus 1 units 3 minus 1 3 minus 1, so we will be left with mole square per square. And then, hmm, let's write this one clearly. We have 555.56. That is per minute, okay, per minute. And then, mole square and liter square, it is denominator. So we have to divide this one. Divide this one with mole square per liter square. But we will just multiply it. Okay, it's reciprocal, using reciprocal. So we have liter square pole per mole square. And this, okay, that is equal to 555.56 liter square per mole square times minutes okay. okay so this is our rate constant this is the value of k so the unit is liter square per mole square times minute okay let's write it here so letter c is 555.56 liter square per Mole square times minute. Okay, so this is the rate constant. So if you have this answer, then you got it right. Okay, so that's all.